This time on Road and Race, we test if just changing from rubber to braided brake hoses alone makes any difference. Then we fit and test uprated brake discs and pads. So welcome to another episode of Road and Race. We finally managed to get a long weekend off together to attack, yeah. attack the Clio. Yeah. Um, first on the agenda is changing out the hoses and then taking the car for a drive to see how the pedal feels, if any different at all. Yeah, we're going to bleed the system before yeah. we um, change the hoses, then we'll bleed it afterwards just to keep it kind of as fair as we can. Yeah, nice fresh fluid. Yeah, yeah. Um, after, once we've done that, we're going to be changing out the discs and pads, um, obviously fitting the new ones ourselves, which hopefully, touch wood, <laughs> will be all right. And then we're going to take the car out and we're going to see how quickly the car will stop in comparison with the standard discs and pads. Yes. So are you ready to get your uh, mechanical head on now? Yeah, yeah. And educate the apprentice? Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Right, <laughs> let's see how we go then, fingers crossed. So, with the wheels off, we can connect up the pressure bleeder, add new brake fluid, and once pressurized to two bar, start bleeding each caliper, starting with the one furthest, the master cylinder. So here's the drive, just as the car completely stuck, testing the brake pedal feel before we change the hoses. You have to press the pedal quite hard before anything really happens. Nothing, nothing, then you stop. That's what we're working with. Let's go and swap out some uh, brake hoses. The pack comes with two short and two longer brake hoses. Wedging the brake pedal down helps reduce the amount of brake fluid lost when removing brake hoses. A little penetrating fluid to help loosen things up, and I like to bend the retaining clip out of the way. This way we don't have to risk shearing the hard line as we can loosen from the hose end. The longer hose is used here to connect the front caliper to the hard line. And after bending the bracket back, we can connect everything back up. With the rear of the car on ramps, we can get access to the two shorter hoses that need replacing next. Funnily enough, there's no hoses included for the rear calipers. I guess that's because they are crimped to the hard line, so we'd need the whole rear hard line section replaced at once. I'll do some research, but if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. With that all done, it's time to bleed the system again. So we've fitted new brake hoses and bled the system again. Let's see how the brake pedal feels. Oh, oh, that's nice. It's much more progressive now. That is surprising. I didn't think, I didn't actually think the hoses would make much difference. Um, oh, it's a much more linear feel now. When you hit the brake pedal, even a little bit, you start to get actually a bit of response from the cars. I'm going to get 60 mile an hour road now. I'm just going to get her up a bit. Let's try a faster braking speed now. Ooh. Much more linear, much progressive. I'm very pleased with this. This is very nice. Right, so this is gonna be the 60 to zero braking test. So we're basically gonna try and, we're gonna test the distance it takes to stop from 60 to zero in the current state of the car. So in standard formation, and then once the brakes have been upgraded, we'll come back and we'll do it again, just to see what the improvement is. There we go, 60, holding it at 60. Oh! <laughs> So we put a flag down and measured that the Clio stopped in 25 meters and 3 centimeters. Next up, it was time to change the pads and discs. Off came the front caliper. Right, so we've removed both the, uh, both the pads. What's that brand? Fahem, Fahem, or who knows? Don't know. Now we're going to need to get the disc off, aren't we? Yeah. So some people say cleaning this up. Okay. But it's been quite well greased. It looks quite clean. It looks quite good, doesn't it? It doesn't look 
basically any imperfections there will have an effect on brake jitter when you're stopping. So here we go. We've got some EBC precision brake discs. So we've got a nice black finish and we've got the grooves here to assist with cooling. Right, so which is the heaviest out of these? Yeah, it feels quite heavy, yeah. You ready? Yeah. Oh, that, that is lighter. Really? Yeah, that does feel lighter. So the Gary test. My puny arms can lift this easily. You've got more vents in the BSD disc, because these are a lot more um, solid there. I mean, obviously they're vented at the top just there, but yeah. there's additional vents on the inner lip as well, which must help cooling and also reduces weight. Seven kilograms. Seven the new one. 6.4. So oh, it is lighter. Kilo. Yeah, it is lighter. Lovely. So let's give that a spray. Give it a wipe. So let's flip it over. Oh, never done brakes before in my life. I've been too lazy. There we go. Look at that. And after talking the caliper bolts back to spec, here's the finished front disc. Looks amazing. Moving on to the rear, here is the new disc compared to the original. To be honest, I hated working on the rear calipers. They are so cheaply designed. To get the brake pads out, you need to get this awkward piece of metal out. As we're taking the caliper off, it only needs moving out the way to get to the caliper nuts. So these are the uh, pads that came out of the rear caliper. What are they, Gary? Brodos. That's Brodos, yeah. Brodo SL. SLs. So you've hit a problem then? Yeah. Um, what we didn't realise is the bearings are actually housed inside the, the brake discs. So this hollow in there, whereas the bearings are housed in this one in the OEM disc. So we don't actually have the tools to get this out. It needs to be a, a bearing press to remove it. So it's a bit out of our capabilities at the minute. So we can put the new pads in, but um, unfortunately this disc is gonna have to go back on until we can get it changed properly. It weighs zero. Not heavy enough to register. It weighs seven kilos. I'll put this one on top. 11.4, take away seven. 4.4. Okay. 10.9, again half a kilo lighter. To make room for the new pads, the piston needs winding back. And here we are with the new pads fitted. So we've buried in the brake pads. This is my first quick drive, see how they feel. <laughs> now that's stopping. Oh God, that is really aggressive. Pedophil hasn't really changed. It's still good, it's still got that kind of aggressive linear feel. I'm not really breaking the hard, I'm being thrown forward in my chair. Clio showing uh, it's more its potential now. Here are our 60 mile an hour row, brake test. Oh God, that is really good. ABS kicked in quite early there. So to sum up, these are pretty awesome now, these brakes. Can't wait to get them on the track. <laughs> Here we go, it's our first braking test with the, the new EBC discs and pads on. I've done a couple of little practice runs. So uh, this is the first official measured run. Let's see how we go. 60 mile an hour on the speedo here. And then we'll break at the flags. The flag shown here shows where the car stopped earlier with the standard discs and pads. As you can see, the difference was marginal with the new discs and pads stopping the Clio 40 centimeters earlier. So that's the brakes completed then. What do you think? Yep, uh, took a couple of days, <laughs> <laughs> um, but we got there in the end. Um, obviously we encountered the issue with the rear discs, which was a bit unexpected. Mm. So we've had to resort to putting the standard discs back on 
but we've upgraded the pads. Um, um, so we're not sure whether to keep those on or whether to change them out. So any sort of opinions from you guys would be great to receive. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, but the you. brakes themselves, um, feel great, don't they? Yes. They feel really yeah. good now. I'm really impressed. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think since we've bedded them in, um, I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Very much so. You know, it doesn't stop the car any quicker, which we kind of thought would be the case. Yeah. But when you drive the car, the initial bite is better yeah. and it feels like it's stopping you harder. It's hard to explain, but there's a lot of confidence now yeah. on those brakes, which we didn't have before. It is a strange sensation when you when you stamp right on the brakes. Um, I am very confident that the car is going to stop mm. and it's going to be interesting to see how they fare up on a sort of extended session on the track. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be the real yeah, looking test. looking forward to that. Yeah. As usual, if you want to support the show, please hit the subscribe button and the like button because that really helps us make uh, more shows and go on to bigger and better things. Um, next time around, what's the plan? I haven't thought about it yet. No. Uh, oh, stripping the car. Stripping the car. Right. We'll weigh the car, see how it is in its kind of stock configuration. Yeah. Then we'll take as much weight out of it as we can. Um, and then weigh everything as we take it out. So we'll see how much everything weighs. Yep. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye. Right, I think I need to weigh myself and then Neil needs to weigh himself to see who's the fattest. Because that will determine who should be quicker around the track. I am... 71.8 Neil is hopping on 66.7 66.7 So that makes me the fat one Yeah Yeah. yeah. Oh. You can't drive the car anymore So if I have a slower time I've got an excuse <laughs> I won't have a slower time but you know